Yo, yo, this is Mr. Fade, and you're listening to another episode of Attack of the Beats, right here on illmusic.com, also on Ill Music Radio, if you uh, haven't figured that one out yet, but uh, yeah, we're on Ill Music and Ill Music Radio, trying to get all over the place, you know, trying to get it well-known internationally and all that shit, all that good stuff. You know, I was just trying to set up here, <clears throat> sorry, I was just trying to set up here for the recording, and so I start talking, and then I look at the meter, and I'm going, uh... Why isn't my voice being recorded? So, of course, stupid me, right? I look, and it's the most it's always the most obvious thing. And, uh, you know, it'd be nice if I had the outputs actually coming in. I mean, <laughs> my output plugs were just sitting there. I'm like, uh, I think I need to plug these things in. Anyway. All right, so we're going to kick it off. Uh, we got five beats uh, on this episode here. Of five beats. Uh, we're going to kick it off right away with uh, a Kim Davies with For the Blunted. Let's check it out. back all right so that was uh akim davies were for the blunted now on this beat you know actually what i like was the the whole thing really i mean the uh the guitar uh sounded really nice and the fact that you had a pan left that was really good then you had that that other uh guitar bit or whatever on on the right pan left that uh, wailing and stuff like that uh that sounded really good that was a nice fit i really like the way that came in uh the drums uh very good drum sounds that were used uh, but I really like the drum pattern that's what I really liked about it it wasn't just like a simple you know boom 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 uh, pattern it was just like uh, it was just nice nice, nicely put together and all that stuff uh, I think the only thing I had a problem with was, was, was with the uh, bass line because <clears throat> I was expecting the way, the way you had the guitar pattern I expected uh, the bass line uh, I think it was like why well, let's say on every uh, fourth bar or every other bar, let's say. I think it was every fourth bar. Every fourth bar, uh, I thought I thought you would bring the bass line down a couple of pitches. You know, like you know what I mean. Like just bring it down a notch because the way you had the guitar, I thought it would go on with that. So to me, it just kind of felt like the bass line was on the fourth bar was kind of uh, not going with the guitar pattern. You know what I mean? Anyway, you know what I mean. But other than that, great beat, man. I really like it. I'm really feeling it. Good job. All right, so, um, all right, next up we have uh, another newcomer, uh, Beautiful Noise with Fantastic One. Let's check it out.
So, we just heard from uh, Beautiful Noise with Fantastic One. Now, uh, you're the one that was saying that you're just going to do, like, uh, all sampled stuff and no synths ever and all that shit, you know what I mean? But uh, when I first started listening to the beat, I'm like, okay, I can picture that, you know, I know what he's talking about. No synths, just samples. It sounds like a total, uh, well, I hate to use the word, the term uh, boom bap, but it sounds like a total 90s beat, which is great, you know? Um, and um, since you sent the beat in, it was like, what? about a minute and 10 seconds long or something like that so it's only like a snippet of your actual beat right so uh i'd like to hear the full version though because uh i like the sample that's used the main the main sample and um it's i mean obviously just like any 90s beat right it's a little repetitive and all that stuff but i'd like to hear a nice intro to this and uh uh the way you had that little breakdown with just that sample it sounded really nice you know so it's like that'd be great for an intro maybe have um, maybe like a movie sample on top of that at the beginning. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, but I understand this beat is perfect for an M- M- MC to spin on top. It's perfect perfect for that. Drums are tight. The sample's tight. I got no complaints, man. It's, it's a tight beat. It's like I said, except for that it's a short version of your actual beat, right? So, uh, so because of that, it sounds repetitive. But, like I said, I'd like to hear the full version. It's a dope beat, man. Dope beat. All right. So, uh, next up, we have... Uh, who we have? I think they're all newcomers this week. Uh, Box on the Beats with Mozart Banger. Check it out. So that was another dope beat that was uh, Box on the Beats with Mozart Banger. All right, so for this one, I like the intro. I like the synths, like the way it's coming in and stuff like that. Uh, then you got this this monster beat coming in. So I was really feeling that. It was nodding my head. It was dope. Uh, I mean, the, the only thing was the low end was a little too heavy for my liking. I mean, it's, it, it fits the beat well. It does. It's just that I just, you know, I'm not crazy about that kind of stuff. But it is a good low end. Uh, a little, Like I said, a little too heavy. Um, but for this style of beat, I think it, it fits great. Uh, the only um, other thing really was the, uh, well, actually, two things. One was the, the synth, that synth part at the beginning. Um, <clears throat> when it's on its own, about a minute in or so, uh, when you had that on its own, that's when you can really hear the sample cutting in, cutting out, you know what I mean? You can see how, you can really hear how short the sample is. Uh, so, like, when, when the drums are on top and the rest of the music is on top, of course, you don't hear it, right? I mean, I've been there. I know what it's like. You, you get this sample. It sounds dope. When you play it on its own, though, you hear like, you know, you hear like these these you know clicks, like the the cut-ins and stuff, you know, the cut-ins and whatever. So, 
Uh, that's the only thing that sucks, you know, like uh, about that kind of thing, you know, when you have that kind of sample. But uh, so for that, I mean, I wouldn't really leave the sample open in that case. Maybe just leave it when you have that part open, maybe just have the kick, right? The kick come out and on each bar so it doesn't, so you don't hear it, right? So you don't hear that part. Uh, and then the other thing really was the, um, uh, what was it? The, uh, um, the high tone uh, synth, synth part. That's the only thing really that I would take out. The rest is great. I think that was the only part that you, you should take out. Um, maybe like an electric guitar would have been better, I was thinking. I mean, hear me out, hear me out. I know it's not like a typical hip hop thing, right? But but uh, but no, the high pitched, uh, what do you call it? The high pitched uh, synth that you had coming in. That part I would take out. That was the only thing that I didn't like about the beat. But uh, take it out, put, you know, try an electric guitar. I don't know. It could work. It could work. But you know, I'm saying that because this beat, when I first heard it, it made me want to punch somebody in the face, right? So I'm thinking something hard, you know, like rock and just, you know, something from it sounds like something it would be in a movie so think about that other than that great job man all right so uh next up we got gtr beats with bright night let's check it out Alright, alright, so that was uh, GTR Beats with Bright Night. Alright, so on this track, you know, it starts off really nice. Nice jazz sample, I'm really feeling that shit. Uh, you had a nice uh, drum pattern going with the... Uh, and actually, nice drum sounds. And But towards the end, I found the drums were a little off. It sounded... It just sounded a little off, like it was... It was the kicks, really. It was the kicks were a little off, I don't know. Uh, but... Um, the main thing I had a problem with really was the sample because it sounds nice. It's just that the way it was chopped, it was like I was mentioning to uh, Box on the Beats. I mean, it's just you know you had these these you hear the cut in and the and the cut out, right? You hear these like you hear how short the sample is and stuff. Actually, I just wrote an article recently about something like this where it's like you have these samples and the way I used to do it all the time was you know you use these the you just fade in and fade out, right? Like a real tight fade in fade out. And then possibly put some kind of uh, really short delay on it. So that way it just fills out the space. It's not going to uh, make the sample longer, obviously, but at least it'll fill out that space. 
in your mix. So you could do that or you could take that sample that you have, maybe double it. But again, when you double it, you know, put them together. Uh, you can crossfade them, whatever. There's always a way to mask it, you know what I mean? So that's the only problem I had was that sample and the fact that the towards the end, only towards the end, where the drums were a little off, you know, and also because the sample, uh, I think it was also at that time when you had that uh, towards the end there where the sample, it sounded like you were just going crazy with that <laughs> with that sample, you know. I mean, it's a nice sample. It's just at the end it was like, dun, 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 dun. so that's about it. But but um, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of guys who do that really, who have these samples that are nice, but they're not uh, chopped that great, you know, like the. It could be a little better. It could be a, you know, all it is like a little fade, or maybe like I said, maybe a delay or something like that. That's it, man. You fix that, and this beat would be really nice because I like the way it is, the pattern, the drum pattern, and stuff, and the sample. Very smooth, very fucking smooth beat, man. All right, all right. So uh, next up, we got the last beat, the last one. Um, forgive me if I, if I pronounce it <clears throat> wrong, but uh, Tubi, Tube. 2B with beats on the... <laughs> 2B, whatever. 2B with beats on water. All right. Let's check it out. And we're back. All right, so that was 2B with Beats on Water. All right, so starts off nice. Of course, you're using a, a beautiful drum break. That's great. That's a great way to start. And then you got these smooth keys on top, very subtle. And everything just sounds nice. I mean, really, the only complaint I would have would be... Hold on. <coughs> Sorry. All right, so the only complaint I would have would be that... Um, I think it was the part where... Uh, not the main keys but they're the little keys right after um it just like i wanted to hear more of that one i think it just sounded like i wanted to hear more of that it just sounded like something was missing right, right there you know but other than that i mean it sounds really nice it's a nice beat and what's really funny about this beat though i'm listening to him thinking it's interesting because this is the type of beat where you know you hear a full song with a beat like this with uh with some rapper on top okay and then when you finally hear the instrumental this is what you get so it's an like with with an MC, it's gonna be an amazing track. And then you hear the instrumental and it just sounds like something's missing. Not that there's something wrong with the beat, just that it just sounds like there's something missing, which is an MC. So that's but that's good though, because that means this beat is, is perfect for some kind of rapper, right? So uh but like I said, it's just that second section of keys there. That's the only thing really, if I want to nitpick, I mean it's just the only thing, but uh yeah. That's a dope beat, man. I like it. Very good job. Mixed well. But honestly, I want to hear that with a, with some MC on top. Really. Yeah. All right. So uh, don't forget to send in your beats uh, to be reviewed for the next uh, show. Actually, not the next show because I have... Actually, I have beats for the next show. I'm, I'm full. That's good. You guys are sending the shit in, man. It's good. But uh, send them in anyway, and um, we'll get that shit going. Go to illmusic.com 
uh, you see in the in the uh, battles uh, menu you'll see attack of the beats go there upload boom boom done all right all right so for this week uh it actually was really close this week i like them all i like all these beats but a uh, matter of preference my favorite this week and the winner is drum roll please Tubi with Beats on Water. Let's check it out. 